Hey guys, I'm going to show how to make a XOR gate work as a buffer. So for the, this is the XOR gate to table. If you see, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the A input to zero. So this will be my zero. And then if you see how the output is behaving with respect to input B is the output is exactly following the input B. Okay, so this means this is my buffer. So whatever the input I'm going to give, I'm going to get it as a output. So this is how the XOR gate works as a buffer. So now for the XOR gate to work as an inverter, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at this two table, okay, these are my inputs, A and B. So A is I'm going to write off to 1. And so now what happens, the output is will be inverted with respect to input B. So that means this is my input B, this is my output Y. So which is equals to B bar.